I need you to bear with me for just a few minutes because I need to sort of land the context of why this webinar is so important. You see, it all starts with strategic planning. Part of an annual strategic planning process includes revisiting and reevaluating your vision. And if you're going to revisit and reevaluate your vision, that means you need a documented vision. You write it down and you write down the assumptions you came up with to help you figure out your future vision. And we're now coming to the end of the year, thankfully, and the beginning of a new year. It's now time for you to prepare for your 2021 annual strategic planning meeting. You're going to review the lessons that you've learned from the past 12 months, and you're going to consider and evaluate your previous vision. And you either, you know, stay the course or you make a change. Could be bigger, could be smaller, but whatever it is, you will document the new and revised assumptions and the ones that you've used to define, define your vision. And if there is a change to your vision, you will communicate the vision, this revision to your team and establish new annual priorities for the coming year and the coming quarter. So what is a vision and what makes it real? Because your vision is not only your destination, where you want to go. It's a key part of your corporate culture. It is a key part of your hiring and onboarding processes. And it is a key part of your management processes. Now, for those of you with Touchstone accounts, um, here's what it might look like if you were using your vision, your mission, purpose, and values to onboard and manage existing employees. I'm gonna log into my Touchstone account here. After creating your vision in your Touchstone account, here's mine for example, you're going to make it a public process by clicking this box right here. Now as a public process, it will always be front and center when an employee logs into your Touchstone account. So when someone logs into their Touchstone account, they go to their dashboard and they will see it right here on their dashboard. If they want to review it, if they, they can just click on it and read it. As a manager, if someone isn't abiding by my values, my corporate values or the company's values, you can bring them back to, to the values, to, to the purpose, to the mission. They're right here. You can manage someone according to your mission, purpose and values. When you're onboarding a new employee, you can hyperlink to this process. So here's my onboarding process right here. You can hyperlink to this process so that you have it immediately. There's no more hunting. There's no more forgetting. There's no more pulling up the wrong mission, purpose, and values from 2015. Everyone is schooled and held accountable to your corporate culture, what it is right now, how you do it here. So vision is mission, purpose, and values. Three things. Mission is your endpoint, your destination, your big, hairy, audacious goal, or what we call your, your BHAG. <laughs> um, values are the way you conduct business. What you hold sacred in your company, how you do it here. Purpose is your why. Why did you start this business? And why would others want to come along with you for the ride? If everyone in the organization wants to go where you want to take them, if everyone shares your values, the same values, and if everyone believes in your purpose, then you've got an excellent chance of achieving that vision. In fact, some people say you've got a 300% better chance of achieving your vision. However, if someone in the organization doesn't want to go where you want to take them or doesn't share your values or believe in your purpose, then they're on the wrong bus. They shouldn't be there. They will be a barrier to you achieving those goals and rewards. 
Strategic planning is a super valuable tool, a super valuable process. It sets you up for the future, it sets up your year, and it helps you create those, those rocks or goals for uh, getting things done each quarter. But you'll have a much better chance of achieving these if everyone is on board with your purpose, your, your why, and your values. I've been working with hundreds of clients over the past 20 plus years, helping them with their vision. That's always the first thing we start out with. And if you're, if you're actually watching this, you may be someone who I have worked with. And chances are, we were able to come up with your mission and your values pretty easily. But my guess is that your purpose, your why, didn't come so easily. And possibly not at all. It's not an easy question to answer. And a hint, there's way more to it than I want to make more money or I want all the control. So that's what this webinar is all about. That's why this webinar is important. Several weeks ago, an email landed in my email box from Joe Szynski, one of our Touchstone partners, a good colleague and friend. Joe is an action coach and works with entrepreneurs to help them control and scale their business. And the theme of the email I received from Joe was on purpose. And I decided to reach out to Joe and, and see if we could collaborate and put together a webinar that focused solely on knowing and finding your why. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's that important. So I said, as I said earlier, having a documented why as part of your purpose, it's just so valuable you will use it time and time again in the development and management of your organization. But getting to understand your why can be challenging and elusive is probably a really good word. So we've put together um, an entire webinar on this topic. In the webinar, we're gonna focus on the why of your vision. We're going to teach you how to determine and define your why. We're going to teach you why you need a why. And we're going to teach you how you use your why more effectively in the leadership of your business. We don't expect this to be a long, drawn-out webinar. I think we will probably wrap things up, get everything done within, say, 30 to 40 minutes. We'll have a, a, a question and answer period. We've got some great example. So join us and discover your why. I'm sure you're gonna be glad you did.